Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry Ammo. Today's topic is Adult Orthodontics. So it is a very vast topic, I'll be covering in a brief manner. So orthodontic treatment we commonly give for younger age people or adolescents, that is maybe age ranging till 20, because the bone cessation happens by then. So adult orthodontics is for uh, 25 plus people. There is no age restriction to categorize adult orthodontics. So basically these group of people, they demand for orthodontics for two things. One is looking for comprehensive treatment. I'm talking about adult patient, comprehensive treatment or urgent treatment. So that is the demand from the adult group of patients. So why they seek ortho treatment? So basically we seek ortho treatment to improve our dental appearance. So same reason the adult patients also having and treatment of the relapse cases. Sometimes the patient might have done orthodontic treatment in earlier and relapse happened. So in order to treat the relapse, then to facilitate restorative or periodontal treatment and for surgical correction of jaw discrepancy and to use intraoral mandibular advancement appliances for obstructive sleep apnea that is OSA so these are the reasons why adult patients seek ortho treatment so what are the basic uh, indications for adult treatment actually there is no age limit for adult orthodontics and as I mentioned, it could be aesthetics, then it could be functional, and also could be adjunctive to other treatment. So these are the indications. Okay, so I already explained it. Now the contraindications, as we all know, the medical problems medical problems then poor oral hygiene then short route so all these can be contraindications so what are the problems the adult patients faces the thing is first one is a lack of growth because the growth cessation happens there is no growth so lack of growth is a main problem because orthodontics is basically related to the growth of bones that is mandible and maxilla so it is a remodeling process of bone but once the growth cessation happens there is no remodeling there is no resorption so there is no growth and there are many problems with the periodontal structures that is periodontal diseases the adult group of people faces a second problem that is periodontal diseases then uh, the missing or heavily restored teeth missing tooth or restored tooth another problem then the physiological factors affecting tooth movement physiological factors then the adult motivation and attitude motivation and attitude of adult patients so what exactly mean by lack of growth so as I mentioned the growth changes have occurred by the end of puberty there is no scope for growth modification and uh, the overbite correction is very difficult after the uh, growth cessation happens and extruding the molars are prone to relapse so what about the periodontal disease so these adult people are more likely to be suffering uh, from the periodontal disease and there will be active periodontal disease which should be treated and stabilized before moving to a orthodontic treatment otherwise it will worsen the existing situation then about the missing tooth or heavily restored teeth uh, there will be tooth loss which uh, might be resulting in drifting and tilting of the adjacent teeth and over eruption of the opposing teeth then there will be atrophy of the alveolar bone and if there is any heavily restored teeth which are more common in adults and um, it may complicate the orthodontic treatment because the bonding to restoration material is difficult 
and about the physiological factors affecting tooth movement so there is reduced tissue blood supply and decreased cell turnover in adults so initial tooth movement is lower in adults and may be more painful so basically it is advisable that light initial forces and regarding the motivation and attitude so usually adults are well motivated patients so increased cooperation may compensate for the slower initial tooth movement so these adults uh, tend to be more conscious of the appearance and they have more drive towards aesthetic orthodontics but uh, they are more reluctant to wear extra oral appliances according to profit adult orthodontic procedures are classified into three that is adjunctive comprehensive and surgical adjunctive treatments uh, adjunctive orthodontic treatment is tooth movement which is carried out to facilitate other dental procedures necessary to control disease and restore function so typically uh, this will involve any or all of several procedures so basically it involves uprighting of uh, posterior teeth or forced eruption alignment of anterior teeth and also cross bite correction so this is like uh, uprighting means uh, repositioning of teeth uh, which have drifted after extraction or bone loss so as to facilitate the placement of rpd or fpd or even implants for that purpose we are changing the position of teeth so along with orthodontic therapy we have another prosthetic therapy so it is a adjunctive procedure next is a forced eruption of badly broken uh, teeth to expose sound tooth structure on which to place crowns so that is forced eruption we need to place crowns so we are going to forcefully erupt the root okay next is the alignment of anterior teeth to allow more aesthetic restoration or successful splinting and lastly cross bite correction if uh, these compromises jaw function we need to correct the cross bite so these are going along with some other procedures or to help the procedures okay such as a splinting such as placement of uh, crowns we are using the uh, orthodontic therapies on the existing teeth that is adjunctive orthodontic treatment in adults and the basic characteristics are uh, it should be uh, completed very fast maybe within 6 months and appliances are required only a portion of the dental arch that is partial fixed appliances so if a orthodontic treatment for temporomandibular disorder which cannot be considered as adjunctive so the basic goals are to facilitate restorative treatment by positioning the teeth so that more ideal and conservative technique can be used or to improve the periodontal health by eliminating plaque harboring areas and improving the alveolar ridge contour adjacent to the teeth or to establish a favorable crown to root ratio and position the teeth so that the occlusal forces are transmitted along the long axis of teeth so adjunctive orthodontic treatment are basically to help the person to have a good oral health next we have the comprehensive orthodontic treatment so comprehensive orthodontic treatment is the same what we perform usually but it can be done on adult patient also so it is to uh, make the patient's occlusion as ideal as possible repositioning all or nearly all the teeth in the process so it is not just like adjunctive it is a comprehensive treatment but uh, we are performing in adults that is a difference so the ideal time is adolescence because uh, the succeeding is teeth they have just erupted and some vertical and anterior posterior growth of the jaw remains so we can manage it well but once a growth uh, cessation or growth completion happen it is uh, quite difficult so the problem uh, we face we already discussed uh, such as uh, the lack of growth and there is uh, involvement of periodontal disease and the level of motivation for uh, such patients so all poses problem for comprehensive ortho treatment in adult time so the first thing is regarding the motivation motivation we you know motivation can be internal or external motivation internal the patient himself uh, feels the need for a treatment maybe because a psychological reason but uh, if the patient is forced by some others 
to go for a treatment that becomes external motivation so next one is periodontal disease patients so to perform a orthodontic treatment in a periodontally compromised patient is under very risk so we need to be very careful we need to analyze the bond length uh, the pattern of uh, bond loss everything and we need to uh, alter our treatment depending upon the severity of periodontal disease so patient can be minimally periodontal involvement uh, moderate level on a periodontal uh, severe periodontal disease level so all cases we need to be very careful and we need to uh, diagnose the patient properly then do procedure accordingly there can be uh, horizontal bone loss uh, there can be hemiseptal defect there will be forcation defect all cases we need to be uh, do proper diagnosis and procedure based on the diagnosis so comprehensive orthodontic treatment is same as the adults and one but we need to be more careful when we are doing adult because there is no growth there is lot of periodontal issues and the motivation factor and the last one is surgical orthodontic treatment so correction of uh, severe skeletal deformity in an adult is achieved by surgery so around 10 to 20 percentage of adults fall into this category so the surgical uh, treatment basically involves plant uh, fracturing of the facial skeletal parts and repositioning them as desired so this can be performed in both jaws and in all three planes of space so in anterior posterior plane we have maxillary surgery then we have mandibular advancement that is in the anterior posterior plane and also we have mandibular setback whereas a correction of vertical relationships we can uh, perform again maxillary surgery or mandibular surgery and in a transverse relationship uh, such as maxillary expansion for uh, lingual crossbite and genioplasty uh, such procedures can be done now we have some uh, newer techniques in adult orthodontics uh, such as uh, invisalign invisalign is a, a popular one nowadays and lingual orthodontics is another one Invisalign is a newer uh, introduction to orthodontic treatment. Uh, there, uh, it offers adult patients uh, who requires full mouth orthodontic treatment with an aesthetically agreeable solutions. It was uh, introduced uh, by Align Technologies in California. It is an orthodontic technique which uses a series of clear plastic aligners. They use clear plastic aligners to move the teeth. they want for a minimum of 20 hours per day and it should be changed every 2 weeks and each aligner moves a tooth or a small group of teeth uh, about 0.25 to 0.33 m for invisalign technique uh, there will be a computer aided scanning imaging and manufacturing technology uh, which has completely changed the treatment scenario because uh, the scanning and imaging of high precision cars made from very accurate impression uh, like polyvinyl silicon impression this allows the patient teeth to be replicated on a screen in a 3d model so which can be manipulated and virtually corrected through a treatment plan developed by the orthodontist so that is a very new technology invisalign but as a lingual orthodontics so invisalign can uh, alone be taken as a separate uh, video so now i am stopping it here just a brief uh, idea about invisalign now let's move to the lingual orthodontics so most lingual orthodontic patients are adults because uh, the aesthetic uh, issue so the advantages are the labial enamel surface is preserved which plays an important aesthetic role and susceptibility of this enamel surface to permanent decalcification following chemical uh, insult from the etchant and from black accumulation is prevented so the enamel is prevent enamel is prevented from etchant and plaque and aesthetic is the main concern for the adult people to seek for lingual orthodontics so lingual appliances allow easy access for routine oral hygiene procedures and evaluation of individuals tooth positions can be easily assessed as the labial surface is free of uh, distracting metal or plastic brackets 
so basically this is very effective in intrusion of anterior teeth intrusion of anterior teeth and maxillary arch expansion and distalization of maxillary molars so invisalign and lingual orthodontics i just mentioned it very briefly uh, it is a very very vast topic just like adult orthodontics so i was giving a very brief introduction about all the three procedures that is the adjunctive comprehensive and surgical and the newer techniques so that was a brief uh, idea about adult orthodontics so we discussed about the indication contraindication and the basic three procedures and the problem what adult patient uh, faces for the orthodontic treatment hope you understood this small topic i will come up with a new topic in the industry and more thank you